My name's Eddie Frawley. Um, I own Central Coast Music. I've owned it here in Morro Bay for 27 years. My folks had moved up here while I was in the service in about 1978, and I was stationed in a little town in Idaho, and I fell in love with the small town. So between having the beach here, the small town, and a great music community around here, it was just like a dream come true. I still feel like, you know, every day is like Groundhog's Day, you know. It's the first day for me again in paradise, you know. I love people to death, and I love music, and for me to join them, either getting kids or, or older adults that want to get back into it, uh, when I put a smile on their face and they're back and they're playing music, that makes my day more than more than the money by a long shot. You know, I got to make a living, but it's making people happy and all the interesting people I get to meet. My name is Terry Brown. I'm from Los Osos, California. As a matter of fact, I moved here in 1995 and I was looking for some strings and I've always tried to uh, promote and, and um, use local people and so I was looking for some strings and I came across this, this store and I knew, I couldn't find it on the street but I knew it was there and I found it because in front of the store where the window was, was a set of piano keys and so I knew I had found the right place. I like this store because of Eddie. He's, a, he's a, more than just you know, someone who sells me guitar strings and guitars. He's a friend. He is also creates a community here in uh, the Central Coast for musicians. It makes it very comfortable and easy for us to uh, express ourselves musically. I just I love I love Eddie to death because you would not find a better supporter of you and your music than Eddie and the store and the people who are in here. Butch, who is the only person who will ever work on my guitars, he has supported the community. He supported all three churches I've been associated with up here. He is always first person out. He is positive. He is upbeat. Um, if you want to feel a sense of belonging, if you're new in town, and you want to congregate and hang out with other musicians, this is the place to do it. This building, uh, it was built in uh, 1904, and it was a vaudeville theater. And um, it was a music store when I came here to visit my folks in 78, but it was the opposite of mine. Instead of ha having like a rock shop, it was band and orchestra and sheet music. But I walked out of the building, looking back at it, going, someday I'm gonna get this building for my own music store. And uh, 12 years ago is when I finally got this location. I've had four locations. I can pretty much throw a rock and hit each one of them. So it was always my joke of, you know, I'm running from the IRS a block at a time, they'll never catch me, you know, so. <laughs> My name is Butch McMahon. I'm guitar tech at Central Coast Music. I do all my own repairs, setups and stuff, and I needed parts. Came into the store. Eddie had a lot of people in. I asked him if he needed help, and he gave me a guitar and gave me a job. I've been around guitars and music my whole life, but he's the one that gave me my first real break. The relationship with Eddie is very complicated, and it would take hours to tell you about it. He's pretty much all I have here on the coast and uh, you know, I love him. I just, uh, I'm really content and happy with my life. I did 25 years of construction and every day it seemed like I was pressing the time in the day to get done, get done, get up, wake up, go to work. This is fun. I'll, I'll work 24 hours straight, it doesn't matter. I love it and I'm not going nowhere unless they drag me out. I wouldn't mind having one of my kids come in and uh, you know and take over for me, but I'd I'd want them to really be passionately wanting to do it because you don't just do this kind of because it's your job. You got to really love it, 
you know. Other than that, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd love to be doing this until I tip over, you know. Hopefully that'll be a long time. <laughs> my goal every day is to put a smile on everybody that walks out my door, you know. <laughs>